afternoon in front of you to join us. I'm Andy Palumbo. There are reports of problems at all the parts of Luzerne County. Going to tell us some machines ran out of paper. News Watch 16's Chelsea Struve sat up with Scott Old, people waiting in line to vote in Harvey's Lake. She tells us voters were filling out provisional ballots while a poll worker drove to Wilkes Ferry to get paper. I think that's ridiculous. Cut what, till 8 o'clock tonight? And they still can't find any paper? So nowhere to find paper. Good. Similar issues have been reported to our newsroom in Lawrence Township and Dallas Township. We have not heard back from election officials in Luzerne County. Hello, Maricopa County. I'm Bill Gates, the chairman of the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors. And I'm Stephen Richard, the Maricopa County Recorder. And we're here to give you an update on how things are going so far with the election. We've already had almost 24,000 people show up this morning to check in and be available to vote. And things are going great out there, but there's one thing that we wanted to address to make people aware of today, and that has to do with our tabulators. We've got about 20% of the locations out there where there's an issue with the tabulator where some of the ballots that after people have voted them, we try and run them through the tabulator and they're not going through. So from a ballot and they, they didn't they vanished off or things that was happening? You just put it in there. Yeah. And you know, the Republicans and the Democrats are sick of voting in all those commissioner towns all over the county.
Okay, um, this is the um, Central Christian Church, and none of the machines are voting, are working, and they are telling us that we have to leave. Um, and so, this is now happening here at this voting station also. At Central Christian, they're not letting you vote. You have to go to a different spot. Who's doing flip a few ballots? Oh, oh, look at the camera. Mark, look, look around. What, what the hell is he doing? Right on the box. Well, I'm here at uh, Nolan uh, School here in Detroit. Uh, they're voting. Here you go. We did get a little problem. Some people who did vote here say uh, they were, uh, when they showed up to vote in person, that they had already voted absentee. Not the case. Election officials in Detroit, they're aware of the problem. They are encouraging officials to use the hard copy voter list, not the electronic lists. And they say that anyone who shows up will be allowed to vote. Polls close, 8 o'clock, all through the state. So I just voted, and one of my neighbors in the neighborhood was at one of the sign-up kiosks, and it said it printed two ballots and no ballots were printed. So I told her, you could have voted already and then not showing you, but I don't know. And now the line is getting longer and longer because there's only three machines to vote on in our precinct. We need to find out what's going on. Her husband got in just fine on the other machine, just like I did. We're in Sumter, South Carolina, folks. So if it's happening here, it's happening everywhere. Supervisor Thomas Galvin representing District 2. I'm here at Central Christian Church in Mesa after hearing reports about people having difficulty voting. As far as I'm concerned, if one person is unable to vote, that's a travesty. We're doing everything we can to get to the bottom of every single issue. I will be traveling to the district today, and you can be assured I'll be asking questions after tomorrow. We want to make sure that everything runs smoothly, overall goes well, but at the same time, all complaints, issues, and concerns must be verified and thoroughly sought out. Thanks a lot. Bye. Hello, so I am just seeing if anyone else had any problems um, casting their vote today. So I am um, down here in Gilbert, and I was standing in line getting ready to put my ballot in the machine, and I noticed that there was two Democrats in front of me voting, which is fine, that's their decision. Um, but they wanted to put their ballot in, and it took it the first time, no problems. Got their sticker and walked away. I go to put mine in, which is all Republican votes, so... Put it in the first time, spits it out. She has me flip it over, put it in again, spits it out. Has me move to another machine called Miss Red. I put the ballot in, spit it out, flipped it over, and then it took it. And I asked her, like, why? And she's like, oh, they're just being a little finicky today. Is anyone else having these problems? Now, according to county officials, the problem had to do with passwords being entered too many times. So it appears this is a technical glitch of sorts. Election officials say teams are taking those problem ballots to the county's election center where they will be counted after the polls close at 7 o'clock tonight, local time. So they want to assure voters here no one is being disenfranchised. All those votes, all those ballots will be counted, Walt. Well, we are following breaking news in Phoenix, Arizona, the capital uh, of, of Phoenix there in Maricopa County seems to be having massive trouble with 20% of its tabulation uh, machines at election board offices. Look at this. I mean, we've got video of people in line now. And um, Carrie Lake, who's the gubernatorial, the Republican running for, for governor in that state, just tweeted, uh, I'm getting flooded with calls and text messages from people who are having trouble voting all over Maricopa County. This is why we must reform elections. Brett, we will be talking about this throughout the evening. I do want to make it really clear that this is not all machines at all of these places. But when we say 20%, we mean a fifth of the 221 centers are affected, having some sort of tabulation 
or counting problems, and they have, as of a few minutes ago, reportedly by Phoenix 10, Fox 10 there, no idea why so many of the machines are not working. Yeah, I mean, I'm interacting with people on the ground, too. I have some friends in there that tried to vote. Uh, one of them said she tried to vote in Scottsdale, and her ballot was rejected 20 times. So she waited around and said, can you get me to one of the devices that works? Mm -hmm. uh, it took a while, but eventually got to the accessible device, the tabulator, and she did vote. But others are saying that there's a long line for the machine that works, so they're being told to fill out this ballot and put Put it in this lockbox where they will be counted later and brought to the the county tabulation site if you do that however um is there's a chance that that ballot won't be counted until at the end of counting for arizona right.